I have learned some things that I think will help you either way, and I just offer these because A, I know you, I like you, and some of you are not that smart. <laughs> so, so I'm going to try to give you a clue here if you'll pay attention to me. I know some stuff. I have learned in my journey through life that you can't beat them all. But if you beat the right ones up front, they'll go tell the others and they won't bother you. <laughs> I know some stuff. I know that if you live in your car and the bank repos it, you don't get to live in the bank. <laughs> If you ever have a dream and you tell me, hey, I had a dream and you were in it, but I wasn't eating cookies, that was a nightmare. <laughs> and I wasn't in it. Sometimes it's not enough for people to forgive you. They also have to drop the charges. <laughs> I know that garbage bags don't make good parachutes. <laughs> I know that sometimes if you go to the gift counter and say, I'm here for mine, they'll go find one for you. <laughs> and sometimes they'll just find security for you. <laughs> but it's worth a shot. <laughs> if you have ever seen, if you ever have the opportunity to see three dead pigs on the side of the road, and a tractor they can't crank anymore, you're looking at the Arkansas State Fair. <laughs> I had to ask the old guy, how did the pigs die? He said, well, I wasn't here, but they say it was suicide. <laughs> was a quick turn. <laughs> we were doing so well. <laughs> I know that if Krispy Kreme ever has an all-you-can-eat special, we're going to find out how many it'll take to kill me. <laughs> you know, my, my dad was almost 90 when he passed away. My mother was 93. Her mother was 90-something. My dad's mother was 100. I, I, I come from a line of long livers. <laughs> and and, and I, could, I could make it to 90, and here's what I'm going to do if I make it to 90. I'm going to drink real Dr. Pepper all the time, not diet. <laughs> and I'm going to eat Krispy Kremes all the time. Both days I live past <laughs> I know some stuff. I know that you should never take advice from a psychic whose arm is in a cast. <laughs> because she should have seen that coming, right? I know that if your preacher doesn't pray for the Cowboys to beat the Eagles and the Redskins, you need another preacher, <laughs> maybe another church. Think about it. I know how you can tell if he or she is the right one for you or for your daughter or your son. Here's how you know, if they hate the Sooners as much as you do. <laughs> or the Redskins, or the Eagles. <laughs> I know some stuff. I know that if you tell the cop you were speeding because Twin Liquors closes in six minutes, <laughs> you're gonna get a ticket. And then you're going to be thirsty. <laughs> if you have little people around, and if you don't have them around anymore, you did it one time. If you have ever had little people around, you already know that if you hear the toilet flush followed by, uh-oh, <laughs> you're not going to get there quick enough. <laughs> I know that if a woman takes a whole armload of little, frilly, shiny, fuzzy things into the dressing room at Victoria's Secret, that is not a big deal. Nobody questions that. When I do the very same thing, <laughs> they call guys with guns.
If you or your partner is over the age of 30 and you decide to spice things up by putting a mirror over the bed, all you're going to do is traumatize each other. <laughs> Helping? <laughs> Here's something I've learned. If you marry the wrong one, you're finished. If you marry the right one, you are complete. If the right one ever catches you with the wrong one, you are completely finished. <laughs> and so am I. Thanks very much. Thank you.